Hi, this is Kendra from Pencil and Pigment, and I'm doing a part two follow-up to acrylic painting on homemade gesso. I wanted to try watercoloring on a homemade gesso. There's just too much to cover in a 10 minute time span. So that's why I'm doing an additional video. I hope you don't mind. I feel like this is all information that can only benefit us. So I am noticing that paint is taking quite a bit longer to dry on B. And again, it's probably the glue ingredient coating. But when I flip over, you can see that it does a better job at keeping things from bleeding through than this one. But I wanted to try some watercolor. Now I have a Winsor & Newton Cotman set. This is $20. This is pretty budget. I like this for beginners, for traveling, for going through airports, for backpacking and hiking. It's very lightweight. My children with aptitude and interest in art and painting have these because of the color combining and it's just more, it promotes more color mixing and it's not as chalky as Crayola. So I'm going to take a different color. So let's take one of my browns here and let's really I'm just soaking the brush in pigment and I want to see how these gessos perform with watercolor and this is definitely you can feel the texture of the gesso in this one and this kind of repels you can see I don't know if this is zoomed in enough you can see sort of the bubbling and the repelling of the glue almost like a wax resist. So this may not be a good gesso for watercolor. Let's try and thin this out a little bit with more water. And while this feels more like traditional gesso and you can get the texture, if you're using a thinner paper, you cannot use a lot of water without sizing ground, the sizing medium, because it just bleeds through. There's no way. Yeah, and Holbein makes the nicest sizing liquid I have seen. And let's try this one with really thin water. It's okay. It's a little weird. It's definitely streaky. Um, if you used sort of like watercolor sponges or something, you can use those streaks to add textures to your advantage. But again, this one takes quite a considerably longer time to dry and you can just see it sort of puddle and pool and sit there and not sink in. So I would say as far as homemade gessos go, this is the better gesso for painting on because of water and bleed through. And this would be a better gesso for much thicker paper with a sizing liquid applied first for adding texture. So if you want that added dimension of a texture, this one would be much better. Again, these were the only two recipes I could use for homemade gesso because I'm doing a no buy art supply this year and all the other ones call for ingredients I just don't happen to have in our house. So I also have this paper. <laughs> which I never got to in the other video. So let's kind of move this up a little bit. And this is from the Kyoko Offset Books. This is just something I'm sort of testing for me. I know a lot of people don't actually own this paper book, but I was curious how these gessos performed. Whoops. And it would help if I had them lined up correctly, wouldn't it? <laughs> Okay, let's see. And I'm going really thick again. And this one, you can definitely tell the texture immediately. I feel like you have to use a little bit more pigment just to get in those little textured grooves. Let's water this down and thin it out a little bit. And this one does definitely becomes more transparent quicker. So I would say if you're going to paint with this homemade gesso, you're probably going to want to use 
opaque paints unless you don't mind the striations and the long drying times. So we will sit and let that wait. Let's see, make sure my brush is clean and it's not. Let's use another brush. And we will go back in with the watercolor Cotman and see how this looks. But it's good to know if you want to watercolor on regular paper, there are options available to you. If you're doing a no buy, it could be difficult. Again, this really, really repels the paint. So this performs much better with watercolor paint. It just can't handle the water. So we're thin that out and you can see it's much more noticeable on this paper that already has kind of a slick surface on it. And this is going to take hours to dry. But I will pin a comment talking about bleed through for this specific demo and how watercolor performed on these. But I think you can kind of visually see how they perform with these two recipes. I hope this helps. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.